Progenitor to the T-Max was the Majesty 250, a maxi scooter sold from 1995 to 2004, popular for its sporty character. In Europe at the time, many people lived in the suburbs and commuted into the city by car or by motorcycle, and the Majesty was a perfect fit for that lifestyle. The development goal for the T-Max was to significantly raise the level of comfort and cruising speed seen with the Majesty on the Autostrade of Italy but not that alone. Yamaha's other dedication with the T-Max was incredibly sporty performance. People would get on the Autostrada and cruise at highway speeds to commute to the office in the city. The idea was to transform even a mundane daily commute into something fun. Building a maxi scooter with a unit swing arrangement makes them larger as well as heavier, so we decided to use the same swing arm design as a motorcycle. Pushing the boundaries of day-to-day -day comfort and maneuverability led to a maxi scooter that is very capable as a sports model. The nickname we had for it was the YZF-R5, and we wanted to give it performance to hang with purebred super sport bikes in the twisties. In terms of testing, the two vectors for development were this part is commuter and this part is sport bike. Equipping it with the same front fork as a motorcycle's was a matter of necessity. Using a single stem shaft like a conventional scooter just wouldn't give us the frame rigidity needed. For the design, we were inspired by drag racers and decided to use the VMAX as one design motif. To emphasize the presence of the front and rear tires, we used the boomerang motif that connected the front and rear axles. The striking yellow color scheme was aimed at expressing an original and modern feel. As the T-Max's unique place and value as an automatic supersport model became recognized by more and more riders, its evolution continued with advances rooted in raising its riding, cornering and braking capabilities. And the pace of those advances was constant, from gaining a new controlled fill die-cast aluminium frame to an all-new 530cc engine. And as the T-Max grew to occupy a space in the premium model segment, its design was also accordingly refined to give visual form to its winning combination of comfort, functions and performance. Having pioneered and established the automatic supersport category, the T-Max later gained stablemates in the smaller X-Max and N-Max models. The CF die-cast aluminium frame was actually a proposal from the manufacturing departments. They said we could get the same rigidity characteristics as a steel frame, but with less weight. We were told that raising displacement by just 30cc amounted to peanuts, but it still lowered the peak torque to around 2,000 rpm and brought a more linear feel at the throttle. I'm a big T-Max fan myself, so I'm always thinking about what I'd like to see on it. And I was always on the lookout at touring destinations to try and spot how customers were actually using theirs. Premium. We're doing the same thing we've done since the first generation T-Max, enhancing its riding, cornering and braking capabilities. We see that as being the box to tick for a premium model. 
それ感じで私は。The benchmark for the NMAX was none other than the TMAX. Although their speed ranges are different, we felt that their rides and comfort levels needed to be similar. For the NMAX's design, we sought links to the TMAX, but didn't want it to be seen as a low end copy, so we developed the design along the two axes of sporty and friendly. A blue core engine was also developed for the NMAX, and even from the prototype stage, it was hard to believe that this kind of ride could come from a 125cc engine. In terms of having a torquey ride character, the TMAX's 530cc engine and the NMAX's blue core engine with variable valve actuation are basically the same. The unique value offered by the automatic supersport category created by the T-Max produced a spiral of innovation ideal for the Max Series evolution. Today, led by the flagship T-Max, the series has grown to include four different X-Max variations and two N-Max variations. This extensive family has given customers all over the world the chance to experience its signature sporty but comfortable ride across five displacement segments. The redesigned 560cc T Max received significant attention from the sound design team and they crafted a high quality exhaust note for it. As the spiritual successor to the Majesty, the X Max was given a full redesign in 2018. And like the T Max, uses a motorcycle front fork to deliver a comfortable as well as agile ride. We gave the X Max a short front and rear and narrowed its overall profile to visualize its agile performance on urban streets. For me, Max Series DNA is about linear feel, meaning the chassis behavior and engine response should always be in sync with the rider's intentions. Max Series DNA is more about enjoying its emphasis on sport. It falls into a different space from trying to ride faster or battling for lap times. In design, the basis for Max Series DNA also comes from the T Max. For example, with the boomerang motif we've kept for all this time, we've wondered what it would be like to actually turn a boomerang shape into an actual frame. In the past, today, and from here onward, the Max series has grown and will continue growing in step with our customers. And we want to work together with them to continue building the mark by anticipating what they will desire next in the series going forward. People will not suddenly lose the need for mobility in the future. As long as there is a desire to have fun while doing it, the Max series will continue, even if the mechanisms we use to deliver that fun change. We hope everyone looks forward to what comes next. Creating a truly original model by nature requires taking on rather daring challenges. Yamaha's Jinki Kanno development idea, which ventures all the way into the realm of human sensitivities, gave birth to the automatic supersport category through the T Max. Today, this standalone category has become an inseparable part of daily life for customers around the world. It is this wholly original Yamaha value that drives the cycle of innovation 
that will lead the Mac series to its next stage of evolution.